let's solve for x in this together we are asked to solve for x in this equation first let's divide through by x root of 9 yes to simplify this so let's say divided by x root of 9 divided by x root of 9 divided by x root of 9 now if we do that this will divide itself to give us 1 plus then this will give us x root of what 6 over 9 is equal to this will also give us x root of 4 over 9 okay now we have this as 1 plus x root of in its lowest term when 3 divides 6 you have 2 if you divide 9 you have 3 okay so this is equal to this is equal to x root of what 4 is same thing as 2 squared and 9 is same thing as 3 squared okay all right so we have 1 plus x root of 2 over 3 is equal to x root of what 2 over 3 squared since they are sharing the same number as power so we can bring that number outside the bracket okay all right now we have that um one plus this x root of two over three can be written as um for example root a is same thing as a to the power of one over two right so x root of two over three can be written as two over three raised to the power of one over x okay okay is equal to you are going to do the same thing here and if we do that we are going to have x um two over three raised to the power of two raised to the power of one over x as well okay now recall this law of indices or exponents that states that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of mn that is m times n and if that is the case that means we can transfer n inside and bring m outside without changing the value of what we have there okay so if we do that we will have one plus two over three raised to the power of one over x is equal to two over three raised to the power of what one over x squared okay now we have this here and we have this here as well so let's call it a number to simplify the equation all right so let's 2 over 3 raise the power of 1 over x be called y let's call it y now if we do that we have 1 plus y is equal to y squared now let's arrange this quadratic equation well if we do that we have y squared right then plus y we cross to become minus y and plus one we cross to become minus one is equal to zero okay now we have a, a quadratic equation in on the board so let's use the quadratic equation formula we need to clean here this way now this quadratic equation formula states that this y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now in this case in this case uh, a is equal to 1 uh, b is equal to minus 1 and uh, c is equal to minus 1 if we should use this quadratic equation formula then we will have that our uh, y is equal to minus b that is minus minus one should be plus one then plus or minus square root of b squared that is minus one squared that is still one then minus we have four four times a that is four times one is four times another minus one should be minus four and this minus times that minus four becomes plus four all right divided by 2a that is 2 times our a is 1 which is 2 so we have that y is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 now we have two values of y here we have two values which are that y is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 
and that's y is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. But when you solve this, you are going to get a negative number. Your solution is going to be less than 0. That means that this solution is extraneous. Yes, it is extraneous because it cannot qualify for what we have here on the board. It can't. All right. Now, let's solve for this particular y. Now, recall that y is equal to 2 over 3 raised to the power of 1 over x, okay? So if we should substitute this into this equation, we are going to have that 2 over 3 raised to the power of 1 over x is equal to 1 plus root 5 over what? 2. Now let's take the logarithm of both sides of this equation. So if, let's introduce log to both sides of the equation. So we have log 2 over 3 to the power of 1 over x is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Okay, now let's continue. So, this is what we have here. We have log 2 over 3 to the power of x, okay, to the power of 1 over x, sorry, is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now, if we should use the power rule, the power rule says that if you have log a to the power of b, that this same thing as b log a, okay? So, we can now rewrite this side of the equation as what? 1 over x log 2 over 3, okay, is equal to log 1 plus root 5 divided by what? 2. Okay, now let's divide both sides of this equation by log 2 over 3, okay? So divided by log 2 over 3 divided by log 2 over 3. Now, this we divide this, you are left with what? 1 over x is equal to log what? 1 plus root 5 over 2 divided by log 2 over 3. All right. So, this is what we have as our what? 1 over x. So, recall, this is 1 over x, right? That 1 over x, that means if we say x over 1, is going to be equal to, we are going to take the inverse of the whole of this, that is log 2 over 3, right? Log 2 over 3 divided by log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Okay. Now, let's recall this law of log reading that log A over B is equal to log A minus log B, okay? So, if we should introduce that here, it means that we will say that our X is equal to log 2 minus log 3 divided by log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2. Now let's use our calculator. Log 2 is approximately 0. Point. So we have that x is equal to, this is approximately 0. 0.3010, okay? Minus our log 3 is approximately 0. 0.4771 divided by, now log 1 plus root 5, is the same thing as um, approximately 0 0.5100, okay? Then minus log 2 is 0 0.3010. So this implies that our x is equal to 0 0.3010 minus 0 0.4771. We will have minus... 0 0.1761 divided by that is 0 
minus 0 0.3010 3010 so this will give us 0 0.209 0 0.209 now if we solve this if we press that in our calculator minus 0 0.1761 divided by 0 0.209 then we are going to have approximately approximately we are going to have minus 0 0.84 and this will be the final solution thank you for watching have a lovely day bye